What's up UHS hardware fans, it's me Louie here today at the rear of the UHS headquarters in the shipping receiving. We're going to be working on a 2020 Lincoln Navigator today installing an aftermarket remote start system from First Tech. Today we're going to be getting into this whole thing, getting all the way into the system, setting the whole thing up. It's going to be easy peasy like you've never seen before because First Tech has made it so simple and so easy to do that anyone can do this in just a few minutes you can have yourself a new remote start, brand new remotes, also, I'll be installing today the drone mobile system, which has an app as well as a small dongle that goes into the vehicle connected to the First Tech remote start. That gives you detailed information about the diagnosis of the vehicle, how it's running, the battery levels, all the TPMS and information that you're looking for, as well as it lets you have notifications if the car starts, if someone accesses it, if the alarms go off, all the information can be sent to your phone in a second. Come with me, let's check it out. Let's set it up and see how hard this is. I bet it's gonna be super easy. Let's find out together, come on.
set up to go and we're going to start the instructions. So the first thing we're going to do is set the ignition to the on position. Now hit the button here. Get ourselves on to on. Second touch. Okay, that should be the on position. I'm going to wait. LED will turn solid green for two seconds. Hey, look at that. Remote start. That simple. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and hook up our drone rem remote system here. And it comes with a simple little cable. Here's a unit. Let's go ahead and pop them out of there. It's got a simple single plug here on the side. And that's pretty much it. After that, we've got to follow our, our simple setup guide here. And we should have it. All right, so what I decided to do is just simply hide our telematics device, which is now fully functioning for away functions. We have our main unit here. We're going to be stuffing that up in that little corner there too. And this is our remote, which we'll go ahead and just show you. It goes right in here. Just slide him right in here. We've got lots of space up here. So it fits perfectly. Nice little area. That was right there. Nothing but nice tight connections, nothing crazy or wasteful. And we'll just get everything back together and we're done. Now I'm gonna do some distance testing, see if I can get all the way over there and see if the remote still responds with this. See how it goes. All right, so from that distance, that was pretty amazing. I couldn't get the remote to do that, so that was pretty great. Okay, so as you can see here on the app, the car is located right here, as we can see on our map. It shows us everything, uh, information about the vehicle. I can take a picture to add into our profile. Okay, all right. So we got a new vehicle picture on there. All our information about our car is already entered in from when I set this whole thing up. Okay, we can also track where we're heading to. If we wanted to see where somebody was going when they borrowed our vehicle, if we let our kid take our car out and they were possibly lost, we could track them and give them directions without having to get in the car with them. You have your remote unlock buttons, your lock buttons. Okay, we got a check mark to let us know that it worked. Okay, that's an unlock. Can it hit a lock? Watch that little foot gate go back up because our lock is working. All right, next up, we're going to try a remote start. Hold that down to access it. After I hold it down. It shows here we got a 15 minute run time on our remote start. So if your air is on, it'll run for exactly 15 minutes. Cool your car down while you're not in it. Warm your car up when you're not in it. Super easy to do from far away. And then while you're at it, you can also check the temperature. You can set up notifications to let you know if your car has been turned on or turned off. Once again, this comes with the car sharing idea. If you're using your car for Turo, you have full details of all the information going on with your vehicle and what's happening to it. You can also have a setup on here to send you a notification when someone's going over the speed limit, all sorts of things to let you have full control over your vehicle and make sure that everything goes the way that you want it from anywhere you want. 
this has honestly been a fantastic and amazing install. I've never done anything like this before, and I thought it was gonna be impossible, close to insane. And uh, First Tech has made this super simple, incredibly easy. When you purchase your kit, it'll come with the T-harness as well as with the overall setup that comes together. It's a one and done setup from First Tech, the makers of all the best remote start tech out there. Come check it out right now at uhs-hardware.com. You can check it out right there. We've got a link right here below as well. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Also, be sure to comment down below if you have any questions, thoughts, ideas. I'm always talking back to you guys. I got all kinds of thoughts to share with you. I love hearing from you guys. Please keep sharing your thoughts. Make sure you're following us on all of our social medias. There's a link down below in the description as well for that. We have all sorts of things going on all the time, giveaways, information, all kinds of things that you'll never know about unless you follow us there. Come by and see us sometime if you're ever in Hollywood, Florida. Once again, I'm Louie from UHS Hardware. It's great to see you guys, great to talk to you. Can't do this without you guys. We'll catch you soon. Peace out. We're UHS Hardware, the number one wholesaler of locksmith and security supplies.